Hey, what's going on everyone? So in today's video, I want to compare some ROM hacks that look really good on the Analog Pocket compared to their original games. Now for this, I will be using the Easy Flash on the Analog and the EverDrive GBX7 on the original Game Boy Color. Now I could have went and shown some of it on this Boxy Pixel Game Boy Advance, but I decided to show it on the Game Boy Color since some of these do force GBA enhancement mode. So I wouldn't be able to properly compare it if I'm showing it on a Game Boy Advance. So the best comparison would be against a Game Boy Color. Now, if you don't already know, sometimes when you play some of these original games that would have been colorized on the Game Boy Color, on the analog, it just shows it as black and white. So this would be another way of getting some of those color options back onto the uh, analog pocket. So without further ado, please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. Let's me know you guys are liking these videos. So please do that. And the first one I will show you in a second will probably be, let's do Metroid. Metroid 2 for the Game Boy. Yeah, for the Game Boy. So I'll show you a snippet of the website, um, which is ROM hacking. So I'll show it to you now, that way I give you a little bit more information on it, and then we'll just continue from there. Okay, everyone, thank you and enjoy the video. All right, so here is a Metroid 2 colorization. So I gotta give credit here to Justin right here. Can't pronounce his last name very well, but Quantum seems to be what he likes. And EJR. Trenny right here does the graphics. So here's a programmer and a color color design. So these guys did an excellent job. I will include the links to everything I have below. That way you guys can do it yourself. I'll also include the video that shows what how to apply the patch. So you'll need that video too. It's the same way you apply a patch to play the games in GB Studios on the analog pocket. So it's the same way you apply a patch. You rename it or you don't rename it whatever you want to do and you put it to the flash card so here is the first one and it looks like this one was updated last march 2019. all right so let's let me show you how it looks on the pocket now all right so i already gave you a bit of information of the rom hack i just want to show you how it first looks the original game would look on the analog pocket so let's just do metroid here it is. This is how the original would look on the analog pocket. So you can tell it's black and white, which is nothing wrong with that. Black and white's good. See? Looks just fine. Now, let's move over and let's put this back to the beginning. Okay. Now let's turn this one on with the EverDrive in it. Okay. So here we got the EverDrive starting up. Now let's go to the same thing, the original. Okay, here we go. So you'll notice on the Game Boy Color, it does have some color on it. Now it's not gonna look as good as the ROM hack does. Let me just show you that now. So here we go. This is gonna be the ROM hack for Metroid 2. You have the name of it here too, right? Yep, colorized. So let's click on this. That way you guys can see there is a big difference. Especially the much bigger screen, that helped a lot too. Let me let me lower this volume. Okay, so there we go. You can tell the difference immediately. Let me lower this volume too. Okay, so it is different. You can tell, tell the colors are different. For start, go to more. I guess it definitely has a lot more different palettes. So even the way that even the gun shooting is different too. It looks definitely different. Okay, so let's just try this one for a little bit. Okay. okay. So you can tell it's much better. They did a really good job. And they did a really good job colorizing this. So let's try killing this thing. I definitely recommend you check you check out the video, the uh, the ROM hack itself. So they, they did a really good job. They 
did a really good job. Looks beautiful on this. And also the fact is that you cannot play it in color other than this ROM hack because it just plays in black and white. But it does look beautiful. The colors are much more vibrant, I would say. Yeah, all right, so this is this is Metroid. And now we're gonna cut into the next ROM hack and uh, we'll talk about that one in a second. So let's get to the next one. All right, so next up we have here is Donkey Kong Land New Color Mode. So this is a Game Boy to Game Boy Color conversion for Donkey Kong Land. They have some new features like time attacks, level names for manual display, and a few other nice little things that you'll see here. Now, for this was released by was a special <laughs> special again tape, I believe his name, and we have KK Zero here. They contributed. This is. Uh, what they have done here so this is also another good hack to bring from a game boy game to game boy color game and we will definitely show everybody how it looks so this was released in july 2021 so this is actually very recent this is within what a couple couple months really i would say six months seven months so this is a very recent one so let's let's show everyone how it looks now all right, so the next one we're gonna do is Donkey Kong. I already gave you a little bit in the background of the wrong hack, so let's go with the original on the Game of Color. Now, same thing like the Metroid, when you play it, it's gonna be in black and white if you play the original on the analog pocket. So this one gives you a color option and a much better color option than the Game Boy Color version too, mind you. So, let's see, let's give it a go. There you go, it says it's for patch options. Yep. Yeah, okay. that is very different. Very close. Yeah, that is definitely different. Definitely looks much better than the Game Boy Color option. So let's click on this one. Let's do the first one. Yeah, wow, that is a big improvement. This is a good way to play this game. This is a much better way to play this game. This is a good way to bring some life to these older games. Now, obviously this color palette will also work just fine for people who have, may not have the analog and just wanna play it on their original consoles or Game Boy Advance, whatever it is they have, their modded IPS screens, it will look beautiful there as well. It only looks like this here because this is playing the original version. Which doesn't look that good compared to this colorized patch. So if you just try it here. Now if you go here and you just try it here, let's go to, let's see if it works here. Let's go to Donkey Kong. Now this is gonna be the patch. So here's the patch. You can tell it looks better here too. It won't look as good as the analog pocket, but it looks really good. It probably look even better on a, on a newer Funny Play screen too. This is, this is an older one. This was just dropping for the Game Boy Color. So here is Donkey Kong. The colors look beautiful. It's a great ROM hack. It's a very good looking ROM hack. Yeah, I recommend this ROM hack. Okay, so now let's move on to the next one and let's see how the colors, how all that compares with the next one as well. All right, so here we have Mega Man Extreme 2 Force GBA Enhanced Mode. So in this one here, like I mentioned, it forces GB enhancement mode. So when you're playing this on something compared to the Game Boy Color, it, will, it should have better colors because I believe it's playing on the Game Boy Advance. So obviously this would rely on you having a maybe an IPS screen to take it full advantage of the better colors. This will probably also look very good on the Pocket 
since it has a very good screen ratio for these games. So like I mentioned previously, all this stuff will be, all these links will be in the description below. Now the contributors for this is who we have here, Sulfur Bragg and Sonic Angel Knight. These are the ones who contributed to this. So obviously all credits for these patches go to them. I just want to share it with everybody. Interesting about this, this was released January 12th, literally eight days ago from when I'm recording this. So this is a very, very recent release and I love seeing people who are passionate about these old games and bringing them to life. It is very awesome to see. All right, everyone, let's uh, show you how it looks on the pocket and the Game Boy Color. All right, just as I just talked about, the next one I want to show is Mega Man Extreme 2. So Mega Man Extreme 2 has a Game Boy Advance Enhance Mode. This patch will allow you to play the Game Boy Advance Enhance Mode on pretty much a Game Boy Color. So essentially, this is going to give you the option to just play it. As if you're playing a Game Boy Advance. So let's just try it out now. Here it is. This is going to be the Force GBA enhancement. So let's, let's hit that one. And this is going to be the original. Tell the colors are already a little bit different. Yeah, look. So. It might be kind of hard to see in the camera, but this is more of a purple. This is a blue. So the Mega Man is also purple. Mega Man here is blue. So far, it's still very similar, other than a couple of color palettes. Let's see. Continue. Just doing a new game. I, I, I personally like Mega Man. I've been playing this game since I was a kid. So it's nice to be able to play an enhanced version of it, at least color wise. Now, clearly, you're going to need a flash cart or at least a maybe a reproduction game that you can override if you have something like an epilogue or a flash boy. So let's see. Okay, this one's taking a little longer. All right. So you can immediately tell there's a difference in the background. This is more of a pink. This is more of a faded, looks like blue. So let's see. There is a difference. Let's see. This is the exact same Game Boy I used to play it on. Cool little thing. So it does look cleaner. You can tell the ground looks a little cleaner as well. Let's see how zero looks. Okay. Yeah, it looks a little cleaner. Yeah, yeah it looks a little cleaner. It's not the craziest enhancement, but it doesn't look too bad. I mean, any enhancement is better than no enhancement, in my opinion. So, all right, here's Mega Man Extreme 2. This is the GBA Enhanced, the Force GB Enhanced. Okay, now let's go on to the next ROM hack. I have a total of five, so I still have a couple more to go, and then I'll have an, an honorable mention, sort of. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, here we have Kirby Dreamland. Now, this is named Kirby Dreamland DX. This one is one of my personal favorite ROM hacks when it comes to improvements on color. This one, you will see a huge difference when it comes to the comparison between the Game Boy Color and the game and the Pocket. You will see it's a big improvement. And even, honestly, this patch, when you play it on the Game Boy Color, it looks a lot better. On the analog, I believe this plays black and white. So here, here you will have Hunderlim here was the contributor. So all credits go to him. This was also released by Green and a Cat. <laughs> These names are funny. So um, yeah, definitely check this out. This is a very good patch, and I'll include this in the link below. So let's uh, let's show it to you now. All right, so here we are. 
So we are going to do, like I mentioned, Kirby Dreamland 2. So if you played Kirby Dreamland on the analog pocket with no patch, you know, let's just do that real quick before I show you the patch. Because on the Game Boy Color with no patch, you'll still see some color. So let's see. Just looking. Okay, let's go to the original. Here we are. So if you play this, it looks black and white. Again, black and white doesn't look bad. Looks good, looks sharp. I still, black and white still looks very good. Some people may want to still play it in black and, black and white. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, but if you want to play in color, you're going to need the patch. Since it does not recognize it in color. So let's go here. Let's go to best looking. Same thing here. Let's go to Kirby Dreamland on the game with color. And let's go to the patch version here. You can see it has some color, but it is this is honestly the biggest difference you'll see. This is a huge difference. Let's bring it closer. I was pretty much surprised myself how this looked with color. It does not look that great. Better off staying in black and white in my opinion. It is a world difference. It really is. Looks so much better here. For you Kirby fans out there, you're gonna like this. This is definitely a good patch. It is much better. Here's, here's how it would look on a Game Boy Color. Now imagine it with no backlit, it'd probably look even worse. But this is just the options we had. I need my fault. I'm looking at this as through the realm of 2022. So when compared to something like this, it does look inferior, but this is the technology that we had at the time. So honestly, if I was a kid, I would not have noticed anything different and I would have loved to love this game one way or another. Yeah, it's still good, but this is way, way better. Probably looks just as good on, on that funny play screen too. Okay, let's go to the next one now. I've shown you this one. I definitely recommend getting this patch. This is a must if you have a flash card and you enjoy Kirby. All right, here we have Shantae Force GBA Enhanced Mode. This is pretty much in the name. It tricks whatever it's being played on to believe it's playing on a Game Boy Advance. It has better colors and a new transformation. So this is pretty straightforward. This was released by Polar Star. And this, this is very straightforward. This game looks beautiful. The original looks beautiful on a Game Boy Color, the analog pocket. It really looks great. So this one probably, we'll see how it looks. I guess that new transformation is probably a big thing. But other than that, let's see how it looks now. All right, so here we're gonna do Shantae, which everybody already knows this game. I can imagine it's a very popular game. It was very good on the Game Boy Color. They've re-released it on a limited run. So this game is popular. Now, this ROM um, patch is gonna force it into Game Boy Advance Enhanced. So it's essentially gonna trick it into believing that it's playing on a Game Boy Advance like I mentioned previously. So let's just go run the original on the Game Boy Color and let's go for the, game, the Force GBA Enhanced here. All right, so here we go. This one, this other one's still loading. Oh, that's right. So there was actually an error that I had for some reason. The Easy Flash did not like this one. So I'm just gonna switch them around. Oh wait, oh, it did work. Okay, last time I had to switch it around. This time it does work. So here it is. It took much longer than expected. Okay. So you can tell here it says GBA enhanced. 
So let's press start here. Okay, start closer. Colors are more vibrant. Wish I could raise this brightness more, but this is as bright as it gets. Start menu real quick. You can tell they made her hair more purple. Yeah, it's definitely more vibrant in the color. And you know what? I'm not 100% sure if maybe you can apply this patch and the and the GBA Studio patch to it. Maybe you can apply both of them because I believe you can apply some of these patches on it. Now, let me, you know what? While we have everybody here, let's try that out. So, that's what I'm going to do. On this one, the EverDrive, I'm going to run the enhanced version. And on this one, I'm going to go to GB Studios and check out the Shante game here. Okay, there we go. Let's go to best right here and let's run this ROM hack. Here we are. Here we go. Okay, it's the Force GBA mode here. So let's see. Let me see if those still make a difference. Let's see. Okay, on. There we go. Looks like it's going to start up now. Okay, GB enhanced. Let's see if it looks anything different. The hair colors are still a little bit different. Honestly, this game looks great with or without the GB enhancement. This might be something beneficial if you're going to be playing on an original hardware or something without already a screen modification, but this game looks good one way or another. It looks really good. They really, really did a good job on this. All right, so there you have it. This specific one looks like it would be better off on, on an older hardware. The original looks pretty good on this one. It's not as big of a stark difference as the Kirby game, but it looks just as good, to be honest. So this one is not the, not the best hatch, but it would probably look better on the older hardware. So one last honorable mention I wanted to do was the Pokemon Red enhancement. So Pokemon Red enhancement wasn't really a enhancement. It was kind of, I believe they redid the they put Pokemon Red essentially in one of the newer games at Crystal. So let's just, you know, we'll just show you the original. Now the original plays in black and white. So let's just show that one first. Let's see how this one looks. The original Pokemon Red plays in black and black and white. I have it here too. Oh no, this one, I, this one is the enhanced. So let's go to the cartridge. Now, okay, it's loading up. I just want to show everyone first. Let's go. To, okay, let's go to Pokemon Red. So when you play Pokemon Red in the analog, it'll probably play in black and white, as opposed to when you play it in the Game Boy Color, it plays in well, color. So there you go. So you can tell it's black and white. It's not bad again, but it's not color. So. Uh, even this enhancement is better than than anything else, to be honest, because it's pretty much changing the whole game around to think it's playing on a newer hardware. So this is how it looks there. Now, let me just show you how it looks here, here, and let's do Pokemon Red. And the reason why I'm doing this more as an honorable mention is because the simple fact that this is, even though it's it does improve the graphical enhancement, it's not the same game in the sense that you're playing a patch. It's kind of hard to, it's hard to explain. I mean, you exp look, you can tell right away it's different. This is a Pokemon Crystal Sprite of Char Charmander. 
but they did, they did a really good job. So new game here. Just won't save. Okay, let's do a new game. Really, this is a really, I mean, honestly, my favorite way to play Pokemon Red. I like playing the original too, but having a little bit of upgraded graphics is not the worst thing. The sprites do look better because they're using newer versions. Okay. The person who did this put in a lot of work, copied the exact same text over. The sprites look better. Simple, red. Okay. So now, it's gonna go to my rival. Now this enhancement you can have on a modded GBA as well. So this is not limited to, to the analog pocket. Everything I've really shown is not limited to the analog pocket. There we go, looks like it's shrinking down. All right, here we are. Okay, look, it's definitely different as you can, you can tell. Immediately, it's different. All right, it looks good, I like it. Let's go to the overworld real quick. Yeah, it looks much better. Much better, gives you color. Now, remember, Playing the original red will just give you black and white on the analog pocket. Playing it on a Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, SP, or official Game Boy Color and up hardware will give you this kind of color palette. So, all right, everyone. Thank you for watching. You made it this far. You guys are awesome. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel.